So good to be with you, friends. So good to be here. Let me tell you, I've had a lucky, lucky, lucky week. I take office in less than three months as your next mayor of Athens. This is a fall break week from my day job in academia. And so I've been doing some very exciting things. And as I have been hanging out at the house, painting hallways, cleaning the kitchen, doing some yard work, I've been reflecting, I've been thinking, I've been trying to imagine what our future holds. And I do believe, my friends, the future holds great things for all of you. As, as I've been up on that ladder, staring down the hallway into my six-year-old son Noah's room, uh, I've been thinking, what do I want to see for him in 20 years? And how do we get there? There's no doubt I want to see for him an inclusive community statewide, a place that's for everybody in Georgia statewide. Whether you're in Fitzgerald or Fannin County, whether you're in Columbus or Clayton, this needs to be a state that holds opportunity for every man, every woman, and every child. And my friends, I believe we can get there and we will get there. We have great opportunity in Athens, but Athens won't be everything that can possibly be if we don't have the right leadership in Atlanta. And let me tell you, as I sat up on that ladder, painting that hallway, I thought, do we need leadership that takes us back? No. Do, do we need Roscoe P. Coltrane, Foghorn Leghorn, cartoon style leadership, or do we need a forward leaning, forward looking adult leader who understands these things that we believe in? Well, my friends, we could not be luckier because, in fact, we have that leader in our next governor, Stacey Abrams. We have a woman who understands that from every child's birth, they need enrichment and opportunity. Myself, many of us in this room, we are lucky, we are blessed, we have had great opportunity. And that opportunity should be extended to every child rolling out of every maternity ward in this state. Here in Athens, we have over 1,500 birth to four-year-old young people who need early learning enrichment opportunity. They need that foundation on which the rest of their life will rest. Yes, they do. Speaker Abrams is the candidate who is going to bring that opportunity to bear for our young people. Earlier this week, I took a little break from painting. I took my wife down to the dental surgery room. She had four molars removed. They were giving her these massive headaches. She's back at work today, and that's because our family is fortunate enough to have health insurance. But we know, friends, that lack of medical opportunity continues to plague many of us in this state. Some of you might have read just in the last couple of weeks that there's been a new analysis of maternal death in Georgia, following up on some work done 10 years ago that at that time found that we were among the worst in the nation and in fact behind much of the developing world, behind the Ukraine. And now 10 years on, we found that the level of maternal death in this state has doubled. We can't allow us to be a state that moves back We've got to move forward with opportunity for every one of our brothers and sisters across this great state. Yeah. Speaker Abrams is going to get us there. I think it was mentioned in the introduction, I've been blessed to be able to spend the last 20 years of my life working with young people in Athens and throughout the region. It's been a fulfilling experience for me. It's been an enriching experience. And any time I think about doubts, any time I think about those little nagging fears that get me down, 
All I have to do is think about the young eyes that I've been able to look into, eyes of tolerant people, eyes of open people, eyes of accepting people, and eyes of young people that deserve an economy that is going to work for all of them and their families in the years ahead. And my friends, if we want those young people, our best and our brightest, to stay here in Georgia, and if in fact we want to allow others to come and invest in Georgia, we do need the leadership of Speaker Abrams. Yes. We are going to get the adult forward-leaning opportunities that Georgia is on the cusp of embracing. Now is not the time to look back. Now is the time, my friends, to look forward. Yes. And it is going to take each and every one of you. If you look at the 15 or 20 year arc of activity in this town, you've seen growing voter enthusiasm. This year in the primaries, when I was selected to be your next mayor, there were more than 5,000 people in addition to those who voted in prior years. We had almost 19,000 people turn out. And we need to continue that trend in this town and across this state. So I ask you, reach back into your phone. Think about everybody you went to high school with. Think about everybody you worked with in that first job. Think about everybody who your parents know. Call, text, let them know that our time is now. Ladies and gentlemen, our time is right now. I couldn't be more excited to be with you tonight. I couldn't be more excited to be here on the same stage as the next governor of the great state of Georgia, Stacey Abrams.